Hi. So in this video, we're just going to go over some basic ideas of statistics. Um, I want to go on over, over an overview of what we're going to cover in the class in terms of section uh, chapter by chapter. And then we'll look into chapter one, section one. All right. So um, there are basically, um, you know, three main concepts in our course. The first one we'll cover, really it's in chapters um, two and three, but, um, and it's really about descriptive statistics. In descriptive statistics, we have some information, maybe numbers, data, in, and we learn to describe the data that we have. We call it descriptive statistics, and it consists of graphs and numerical summaries like mean, median, standard deviation, things that measure center and variability of, um, of, of that set of numbers. Okay, and so that's going to be like the first chunk of work that we have here. And then the second chunk of the class is about probability. Um, so that looks at um, some classical models of probability and some probability distributions like uh, the normal distribution and how that sort of helps us to move forward in the class. So we're going to take these two together and we, we, we have the, the power of descriptive statistics and the power of probability and they come together to give us the ability to um, work on inferential statistics. So inferential statistics is um, the idea that um, you might have a population of interest and I'm just going to put an example out here. Okay, so um, one of the studies that I did probably about 10 years ago was I worked um, with the uh, the army and a local yoga studio. And um, we developed um, a study to determine whether yoga was effective at um, managing the stress of combat for deployed military individuals. So we can think about the population as the group here of all deployed military um, individuals, right? So, um, so of course, it would have been great if we could go into yoga with everyone that was um, deployed at the time. But really, we, we felt quite uh, fortunate that we could have access to 70 deployed military individuals. And so that group, so this, this, the whole group of all deployed military individuals, we'll call that our population. And then the group that we actually got to do uh, yoga with or measure, all right, we call that a sample. So a sample is a subset. So it's, um, in this case, it was the 70 um, military, deployed military. In our study that we got to measure, right? So in the study. All right, actually um, what happened was 35 of the um, deployed military um, troops were given um, yoga three times a week for three weeks and another 35 were, was not and we measured a variety of like anxiety and quality of life, sleep before those three weeks and after those three weeks and that was an overview on how that um, study worked. All right, but the idea here is that we have a sample, which is a subset of the population. And what we did, what I did in that study was I we used um, the power of probability, right? So I could look at these 70 and describe them, right? So I could use descriptive statistics on that sample, but then I take the power of probability, right? So let that stuff be the boundary between the sample and the population. There's my probability and the power of probability allowed us to make statements 
from the sample up to the population. So that is the concept of inferring. So in our um, back to what's going on in our class is that we have um, chapters one through three helping us describe uh, chapters four, six, and seven uh, it consists of this probability, which is um, the power of what we need so that we can go from descriptive to inferential. So descriptive plus probability brings us to inferential. All right, I'm going to transition over to the notes. Um, and so I'm going to share my screen. To the various technologies we get it we'll get it straight okay so um statistics is a branch of mathematics that deals with information collection organization presentation analysis and interpretation of information statistics really is not mathematics because in mathematics uh problems are typically solved with 100 percent certainty there's a correct answer but in statistics Typically, that's not the case. We really um, are more likely to come up with statements um, that say we're 95% certain of an effect. All right, and um, so the process of statistics, we can break it down into four steps. And the first step is to identify the research objective. And the second step is um, to collect the information needed to answer the question. And those two steps sort of um, set up, set us up for organizing, summarizing, right? That might be a lot of what we do um, in descriptive statistics, right? And then the inferential component allows us to draw conclusions from the information. And so in our study this semester, we are gonna be working with steps three and step four, we will walk in typically to a problem and already have the question we need to answer and the data that we need to address it to it. All right, I think that might be it. We went over most of this, but let's check it out. Population is the group to be studied. It includes all the individuals in the group. The sample is a subset, uh, a little bit of uh, Terminology, individual is a person in a population that, that's being studied. Descriptive statistics is the organization and summarization of the information that's collected. And inferential statistics is this method of, going for, of getting the information from the sample up into a statement about the population. All right, thanks for uh, watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.